Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is how to count the number of chromosomes and chromatids in meiosis. Please watch till the end for complete understanding. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin. The most important concept in solving this is chromosome has a single chromatid before DNA replication. That is before synthetic phase of cell cycle. So this is a chromosome with a single chromatid. The second point is at times chromosome has two chromatids. That is after DNA replication. Duplicated chromosomes are called chromatids and are held together at centromere. Here you can see this is also a chromosome. Here this chromosome is with two chromatids that is held at centromere. Rule number one, how to count the chromosome number? The number of chromosome is equal to count the number of functional centromere. So here you can see this is a chromosome. The number of centromere is one and the number of chromosome therefore is one. So here also after S phase this chromosome is duplicated. Now it is having two chromatids that is held at centromere. Here also the number of centromere is 1, therefore the number of chromosome is 1. So a chromosome has a single chromatid before DNA replication. So once it is duplicated, a chromosome will be having two chromatids. Rule number 2. How to count the number of DNA molecule? To count the number of DNA molecule, simply count the number of chromatids. So here in this figure, the number of chromatid is 1. Therefore, the number of DNA molecule is also 1. Whereas in the case of duplicated chromosome, after synthetic phase or after DNA replication, you can see in this chromosome there are two chromatid. Therefore, the number of DNA molecule is also 2. So this is cell cycle. As you can see, this is a G1 phase. The cell divides and grows. It matures. Here you can see the number of chromosome is 1 and number of DNA molecule is 1. This is before DNA replication. G1 phase is before DNA replication. The next thing that is happening before division is DNA replication. After DNA replication in G2 phase, number of chromosome will be 1 but number of DNA molecule is 2. So remember before mitosis or meiosis, the genetic content is doubled during DNA replication, but the chromosome number remains the same. Now let us count the number of chromatids and number of chromosomes in different stages of meiosis. Let's take our case. We have 46 chromosomes and 46 chromatids during interphase. After DNA replication, the genetic content has doubled. Therefore, the chromosome number will be 46 as you can see. The centromere here, here, the chromosome number is 4. Here also the chromosome number is 4 as the chromatids are held at a common centromere. But the number of chromatids has doubled. That is 92 chromatids after DNA replication. So these chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes. One from father and one from mother. So we have given a video on difference between homologous and non-homologous chromosomes. You can refer that also. During meiosis 1, what is actually happening is the separation of homologous chromosomes. These chromosomes are separated. And what we get is two cells of 23 chromosomes each. And the chromatids has also reduced to 46. That is why meiosis 1 is called as reduction division. 46 chromosomes that is reduced to 23 chromosomes in meiosis 1 and also 92 chromatids has reduced to 46 chromatids. That is why meiosis 1 is called as reduction division. So this is the case. As you can see, these homologous chromosomes are separated and that is distributed into two cells. Now the chromosome number and chromatid number is halved. Now in meiosis 2, separation of sister chromatids happens. It is just like mitosis. So 23 chromosomes that is distributed into two cells. Each cell will be having 23 chromosomes and 23 chromatids. The same thing happens here also. Four cells are formed by meiosis where 
the chromosome number is reduced by half. So at the beginning we have 46 chromosomes, now we have 23 chromosomes. So this is the figure you can see, here the chromosome number is 2, here it is 4. So 46 chromosome that is reduced to 23 chromosomes and each chromosome is with a single chromatid. And this is happening in meiosis. So let us look into the table for exact numbers. So this is meiosis 1, reduction division or chromosome number is reduced to half. In prophase 1 we have 46 chromosomes and 92 chromatids. In metaphase it will be the same. In anaphase this homologous chromosomes separates. Then also there will be 46 chromosomes and 92 chromatids. In telophase also it will be 46 chromosomes and 92 chromatids. At the end of meiosis 1, daughter cells will be having 23 chromosomes with 46 chromatids. Each chromosome with two chromatids held at a centromere. That is why this division is called as reduction division as the chromosome number is reduced to half. In meiosis 2, what is happening is just like mitosis. It is called as equational division. No change in chromosome number occurs. In prophase 2, there is 23 chromosomes and 46 chromatids. In metaphase 2, also there is 23 chromosomes and 46 chromatids. In anaphase, the sister chromatid separates. Therefore, there will be 46 chromosomes and 46 chromatids. In telophase 2, there will be 46 chromosomes and 46 chromatids. At the end of meiosis 2, four daughter cells are formed each with 23 chromosomes and 23 chromatids. So the result of meiosis is four cells with half the number of chromosomes. Hope you got the point. Thank you so much for watching. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.